Okay, so this is a little tutorial on how to make a presentation slideshow. So the home screen will look different like this, but it's the same concept. And if you need any help or if I'm going um, too fast, you can always pause the video and stop it and go back. So you're going to, you see my little, um, follow my mouse. So you're going to go to um, Google Chrome, double click, actually what's going on hold on okay you're gonna click google chrome and this is the same thing that pops up over there so like on the house computer so um over here is just my name my stuff but you click on whatever box i don't know if this is the box of your name or whatever at google you can you can use any any of them it really don't matter but make sure the one you start with you continue to use that one so for example we're going to use this pink one with the n that says nicole so when you click on that, it's going to show like the Google um, main home screen page. And yeah, so on the left, the right hand side where it says Gmail images, this little lab is going to have nine dots. And if you hover over, it, it's going to say Google apps. You're going to click on that and you're going to scroll down. You see all the apps for Google. You're going to scroll down. Keep scrolling until you see this yellow thing that says slides. So when you click slides, it's going to open up like this. So I tried to record a video. Uh, I did a little example, but I wasn't recording. So we're going to have to start over. So whenever you make a slideshow presentation, at the right here where it says start new presentation, at the top left, you're going to click that little plus sign. You're going to hover over it, and then you're going to click plus. And it's going to open up like this. So your page, your screen will be much bigger Hold on. Your screen will be much bigger like this. Like, it's going to be bigger. It's just my screen doesn't do that. So, you're going to do just like this. So, on the right-hand side of the screen, you're going to see the thing that says themes. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? Themes. So, you can use your mouse and scroll up and down. They have different colors, different themes. And you want to... I would recommend using a the theme because if you're giving a presentation to an audience... You want them to be engaged with some type of color, some type of look. You don't want it to just be plain black and white. So these are all like the cute themes they have. And you can pick whichever one. It I mean it doesn't really matter. It's so whatever whatever is your preference. So we're gonna I'm gonna click this blue. We're gonna, I'm gonna click this blue one. Actually blue is not cute. We're gonna go back, which we're gonna learn how to do that. I'm gonna click this pink one pink and white so this is your title this is your title page or your t yeah your you basically is this is your title page this is the first thing that the uh, audience is going to see so you want to make sure it's the title and then at the bottom you can put your name date and like the purpose and when I say that's purple when I say purpose I mean like for example if I would be giving a presentation for something for YPD I would put like my name and then I'll put YPD meeting September 17th, or that's 2024, like something like that. But for this case, the title is Mimi, Mimi's, um, Mimi's Presentation 101. Hey. Okay, and to put this centered, you can just click on, click, double click it, and we don't, we have a theme already. You see these, um, it's going to have these, um, on the, at the top on this little menu, it's this align, if you click align, you can make it to the middle. So that's that. Um, so to add a page to the next slide, you're going to go at the top left, right here where it, it says menus, this little plus button. You're going to hover over it and you're going to press it. And that's how you make a new slide. So this is like, um, this can be the first topic. And then where it says click to add text, you can put like um, some key points. And you can space it. Um, another point. And then it's enter, space. Well, why are they screaming outside? And you can add more information. And basically, to keep 
doing stuff like keep doing the same thing you're gonna go back and press plus button then it can be the the second um, topic and then more information um, you want to add or you know type and then you just keep doing that for as much as you like and yeah so say you accidentally added um, too many pages or too many slide shows this is like ASL do you, what do you do so you see my little noggin you're gonna click on so for example it says this is the example page so you have added too many pages or too many slideshows what do you do so say if you don't want this example page anymore you're gonna click on the thing that says example page right here on the left hand side so you can click on the title the first you can click on the title the first topic the second topic and the example page just like that you can click on the example page and on your keypad where it says backspace or delete you just press it and it and deletes now say you accidentally deleted too many um, slideshows you can click where where right where it says new we added a new slide if you move over just a little bit to the right it says undo and if you click the undo button it undo um, you click it it undoes the la undo the last action that you did so for example it undid we accidentally deleted this page but say that example page you want to bring back you press undo again and the example page is back so in this case say this is the end we can add one more um, slideshow and this can be the um, the end of the presentation right okay so this is the end of the presentation now this is the end of the presentation and we're, and we're finished that's or if we're finished or say that you want to work on it more tomorrow you don't have to worry about saving it because it automatically saves it to the little um, Google Cloud if you see it up to the left at the top where it says unite untitled presentation it's going to automatically save to the cloud so before you like log out you can name the presentation and if you click on it when you already put a, um, a title page it's going to automatically put whatever you put right here so for example it's going to say Mimi's presentation 101 so say you want to go to sleep and wake up tomorrow and do it all you have to do is press the X button and go to sleep why is the dictionary popping up and go to sleep and in order to get that same presentation and work on it again you do the same steps you did to go and start it so you go back to Google Chrome double click that and the little box will pop up remember to click on the same box you started with so for example I'm gonna click on my name and we're gonna do the same things we did to start the presentation so we're gonna click on the nine Google app dots over here on the right hand side I'm gonna to scroll to the bottom and find where it says slides I'm gonna click on it and Mimi's presentation 101 is right here on the left it's the for, um, like the most recent slideshow that I've done so I'm gonna click on it and then it's left off everything that you've done all the six slide shows as you can see on the left hand side that you've done so I can go to any slide any page and I can add or you know remove any information that I want and you can just do everything so now when it's time if you want to go over and see and look and review it you can go to the first page which is the title page the first presentation page and you're going to see on the right hand side it's going to say slideshow right here where it says share but we're going to click on the slideshow if you click on the whole thing it's going to pop up in full screen so you can see how it looks before you go and present it and this is a good thing you can do to um, you know review any discrepancies any errors that you made you know in spelling and what not but with spelling I can also show you something too after this so with the presentation on your key on your keypad you see the left and right arrows you can use that to go to the um, 
or you can also use your mouse too to click to the next slideshow but I recommend using the keypad the the yeah the keypad with the arrows at the bottom or you can use the little mouse hover so we're gonna use the mouse hover first so you can click on the right hand side of the screen to go to the next slot oh lord what? hold on that that anyways we're gonna go back wait a minute why is it doing this okay so we're gonna click on the arrows on the keypad to go to the next slide keep clicking to go on to the next slide and you just keep clicking to the end of the presentation now say if you accidentally went click too much you use the left arrows to click back and click back click back so at first sometimes it can be finicky and it don't want to let you click but if, if that's the case when you first start it on your title page just click on it why wait a minute hold on that's not on your first title page it's not going to do that on yours because mine is just a little slow just click on the title or just click on the screen and it's going to click to the next thing so in order to exit out this on your keypad it's going to say ESC um, right where it says one two where the numbers at look one the, the the key yeah the key that says ESC you're going to click on it and it's going to exit out a full screen presentation now just like that perfect boom and done so now I did mention on um, word check and word spelling and grammar so if you finish your whole presentation and everything and you want to review your word grammar if you go to the top over here where it says file edit view insert format slide arrange tools extension to help you're going to click on the thing that says tools and if you click on it you're going to use your mouth and move your use your mouse and go down where it says spelling hover over that and move to the right and click spell check and when you do spell check on the right hand side spelling check will come up and you can ignore it or sh or accept it so in this case I would accept it because the grammar um, for the word slideshow is incorrect so I will accept it and it will change it and once you finish doing that it will um, say no available suggestions to show so after that that's how you know your presentation is grammatically correct and um, perfect for you to use so I hope you enjoyed this presentation um, I don't know why my dictionary keeps popping up it's probably because I can't spell in real life but I hope you where am I you can't see me oh man well I hope you enjoyed this presentation I was trying to show my face a little bit oh I, it's a good little way I guess hope you enjoyed this presentation remember if it went too fast or um yeah you can always pause it and write down steps i scratched my fingers my my hands a little bit but it's one o'clock in the morning so yeah i'm gonna do a zoom one so you can um like have a tutorial on how to share your screen on zoom so with that being said ciao ciao and i'll see you in the next video